Yeah, there you go. I've, I've got them eating the chunks now. And of course it wouldn't be the ITM fishing shelf if we didn't do any fishing. So this is where you need really good gear. I've got here Shimano Tiagra 80 wide on a bet butt T-curve rod. Now it's a hydrothermal piston drag that you really need for good drag performance. Uh, the thing, it's all very well and good going about the, the gear all the time. I mean, it's not all about the gear, obviously, as you know. Um, I'm probably going to cast out with this, the old uh, spit cane. Back from the 40s, my grand uncle Hang used to use this out on the Gulf and stuff. He caught his fair share of um, sharks and big, bigger fish than that, so we've got this, I'll get out of your way, eh? Are you sure, mate? Because like, I've got this gear here. Okay, now, 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 how's that? How's the rod going? Just going good. Just going real. Give it a run a little. Your old uncle Hang's rod is Tighten up on him, tighten up on him, tighten up, tighten up. That's it, strike him. You got him? We got him. I think I think we got him. Because normally it's not a good idea, of course, to bring fish into the boat. But we haven't actually been doing everything copybook today. We we'll have to so give an invoice for this, actually, man. Um, watch the uh, teeth, of course, and you'll notice also that we're using a uh, tuna circle hook there, which is ideal for releasing fish. So what we're probably going to do here is we're going to uh, we're going to tag him and then release him into this ice box. Yeah. Um, no, no, into the um, ocean. This was yeah, kind of what we're doing. Oh, right out there. He's all untangled, hardy creature, and he will swim away to fight another day. Beautiful ocean predator. Away you go, buddy. Good on you. Uh, After the break, more tips. I'll show you how you get a line right out there. 